Four friends having the time of their lives. They didn't think they'd still be in Brazil. And that's because no one gave Costa Rica a chance of getting out of a group, let alone to the quarterfinals of a World Cup. Well, for us, it has been like a dream come true. It's our first time in Brazil, our first time in a World Cup, our first time at this moment playing with Netherlands. For us, it's a dream and the, the people are crazy. The country is very happy, so we are like in a dream that we don't want to wake up. Following your dreams isn't always cheap. They've had to change travel plans twice and it's cost them an extra $3,000 each. And that's with watching their money carefully, sharing rooms and sometimes only eating once a day. I told my friends that we, we cannot uh, measure this trip in, in five of dollars or something. It's something that we are going to, to remember all the rest of our lives. So we cannot, uh, I, don't, I don't matter money at this moment. I am very happy to be here and that's all what, what I think. This isn't just football history in Costa Rica, it's sporting history. With a population of a little more than 4 million, nothing has come close to this moment for the smallest nation left in the tournament. And right now we, 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 we will play again without pressure against Holland. They have the whole pressure of the world uh, on themselves and we are not. And we are, we are in the quarterfinals. I believe it's a very nice uh, uh, picture for Costa Rica in, in, this, in this great game. One, two, three, Costa Rica! Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Gracias. Now, whatever happens against the Netherlands on Saturday, Giancarlo and his friends already feel like they've won during their time in Brazil. But what we've all learned uh, during this World Cup is that you never, ever write off Costa Rica. Alex South, BBC News in Salvador.